Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, we're going to help you answer the question, does phantom power work over a quarter inch cable? We all know that condenser microphones need 48 volts of phantom power, so in this video, we're going to test two different cables to see which ones actually deliver phantom power. So first up, we have this quarter inch to XLR cable here. We're going to plug the quarter inch cable into the audio mixer and the female XLR end into our condenser microphone. We're going to turn on 48 volts of phantom power on our audio console. We're going to turn the gain up. We don't see the level set light moving at all, but we're just going to unmute it, turn it up to unity just in case. This console is already connected to the computer and it's recording already. But we can see here that we're not getting any level here when we should be getting level. And that's because this audio console and every other audio console that I've ever seen, even though it's using a combi jack here, it doesn't supply phantom power over the quarter inch input on this console. So no matter what you're trying, you will not get phantom power. Now just to prove that the console works, I'm just going to unplug this cable and use a standard XLR cable here. I plug the XLR end into this condenser microphone and the other XLR end into the audio console. We turn 48 volts of phantom power on again. We're going to increase the gain here unmute the channel. We can see here that we're getting almost uh, just over zero, so I'm just going to turn the gain down a little bit since we're going to the computer. Bring this up to Unity. And here we have a condenser microphone plugged into the Mackie ProFX 10V3 audio console using phantom power and being recorded by the computer. So there you have it. it this console does work. It supplies phantom power but it does not supply phantom power over the quarter inch jack, just like every other audio console that I've used. So just keep that in mind. If you're powering a condenser microphone, you really need to be using an XLR cable. If you want to see pricing or specs for anything in this video, we do have some links in the description below. If you have more audio related questions or questions related to microphones or audio mixers, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <music>